Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are here going to be running our first load of cattle. So we have turned around and picked up a new 10-wheeler. We did go with the red or burgundy color paint scheme there on this one. Uh, we are hauling cattle, so we did go with the bullhorns on the light. And... So we're just going to take a look at that one real quick, number 471. And then we did turn around and pick up a few of the cattle cars. For now, we just have four of them. Kind of a test run, make sure the loco is going to handle it. Obviously, have not put this loco under load. This being its first load and the other class 47 we have definitely isn't working hard doing, um, you know, flat ground wheat stuff. So... There you go. Haven't really tested the loco out. Not really looking to push it too hard, but there you go. We got four of the cattle cars all loaded up. Lots of water delivered to do that, but there you go. Water, not my favorite load to deliver, that's for sure. All right, here we go. A lot of work. It takes a lot of time. The water just fills the, like the cars. It's just a slow process. All right, that down, that up. Let's do that. All right, bring that thing to life. There we go. It's gonna get it moving on flat ground and uphill. Who knows? We'll have to see what we get out of the thing. That's for sure. It's a cheap locomotive, not super expensive, so definitely not one of the big heavy haulers of the game, but we're just gonna have to see what it can do. Cattle car's not exactly light, especially once you get them loaded. They're not real light, they're just empty, so one of the heavier cars out there, the stock cars, so we'll just kinda have to see how it goes, and whatever, we'll play it by ear. Test run, test run, that's for sure. This is all we've been running a lot of it. Haven't had to worry about a thing. Obviously not sure how the cattle cars are going to handle things. Do notice that the Class 47 moves around quite a bit. You do see a lot of uh, loco shake in this one. There you go. That you just haven't seen much of in locos for a long time. It's a little bit different there. Did try to do some multiplayer running last night. That was definitely a little weird, so everything not totally smooth there. So we'll just see how that goes. Make sure we're on the right rail here. We're definitely scooting a lot. Right, let's probably get on a little bit of brakes as we're going through some stuff. Make sure our switches are good. This is the uh, little red Fireball Express. Just figured everything is pretty much red on this one. Eventually we'll stick a red caboose on here if it's got the full power to do it. Figured the bullhorns were a nice little addition for the cattle train. That's a new set of horns. I have to say that's kind of cool. Right. Here's where we're going to find out what this thing pulls like. Right. Let's get it. We can try to go for a little more speed there. Seems to be handling everything okay, but the real pull is gonna come in up here. We switch. The switches are like last minute. All right, there we go. Everything coming around there, nice and smooth. Do have to say, I kind of miss having the digital uh, readout number of the speedometer, but you know. Not that speed really matters per se in the game, other than a reference. You know, you're definitely not getting a speeding ticket or nothing, so 
Whatever. <laughs> That's the local, or that's where I have my settings. Let's see, real quick. Audio, oh, everything in order. It should be, so that's just a local. Seems a little quieter than normal. That yeah, could just be me. Uh, I might have other volumes adjusted, I guess, elsewhere. Here we go. Moving now, let's see what this whistle sounds like in the hills here. That's pretty good. Do like the way that that echoes through the hills. So that's a nice one. No word on April's update yet when we can expect that or anything. Still have not heard. Definitely looking forward to that one. Supposed to be map stuff with that, so that should be cool to see coming up. All right, we're going to have to keep an eye on switches here. This one looks like we're good. Cutting along just fine. Everything in this valley is just nice and flat. I have to say it's kind of a cool thing that they put in. <clears throat> Wouldn't mind seeing them do some tighter valleys in the future, but the valley like runs like this are super cool. Kind of just the next step of a dev trail from the old Pine Valley, which is something Lake Valley was kind of just missing. So it's kind of really super cool to see these kind of things here in the new map, do I have to say. Definitely still enjoy the size of the map. That was a great addition. The new loco is pretty cool Obviously, we had a few performance hiccups with this beta update. But that's all getting ironed out now before the main push So that's cool to see <clears throat> They did get out hot patch pretty quick so That was cool to see this time Things looking pretty decent this month now with the hot patch I do have to say I had a lot less problems haven't had any of the crashes or anything like that everything's still not working perfect perfect like I think multiplayer but single player haven't really noticed too many issues at all so that's looking good still have not messed around with the uh, knuckle couplers a heck of a lot I did switch it back to the link in the pin um, in the first look video and so I have not messed around with the knuckle couplers a heck of a lot I know those were causing some issues here and there but again I kind of avoided those by just going to the Lincoln pin so can't say I experienced a lot of those I think those being a new mechanic obviously come with a new set of challenges that's for sure that was kind of a big mechanic to just slip in there go moving along just about doing 30 so this local will definitely get up and scoot when given the opportunity Okay, switch is good. Everything's good. Just wanted to check there. Been a while since it's been out this way. Oh, we'll just wait for the logo to come pick us up. No big thing. Good look at it steaming along. There we go. Good to go. Moving right along. Whistle blow before we leave the valley and don't get our good echo anymore. That's cool. 
blast those off just to take a look at the old loco there doing its thing. Wow, those things really hang. Stay for a while, that's for sure. Alright, probably ease down on that now because we're probably going to start taking off like crazy. And you do not need to be going crazy. I do notice this loco, you really hear the, uh, you hear like the air and the brakes a lot. This one you definitely get a lot of other sounds off other than just the same old sounds from the loco. So that is kind of a new and interesting thing I do in detail anyway, I guess, with the 47. It's kind of cool. It's kind of crazy when you're moving around at slow speeds and things are nice and quiet. You start hearing how much noise this loco really makes outside of the normal noise. So if you haven't had a chance to check that out, I would check that out. When you're doing a little bit of yard switching or something with this one. It's kind of cool. Barreling down the hill here. Probably the tightest part of the turn coming up. Maybe down the break a little bit more. There we go. Slipping around nice and neat. Definitely saving some fuel. No, <clears throat> Definitely don't have to have fuel in it for this part of the run, though. Alright, now we're gonna again have to watch the switch here. I really don't know where this one is. Switch. Hopefully we get out there in time. Yeah, that would not be the right direction. We are back to the left and right mouse button clicks to move the uh, switch stands again. I'm not exactly sure that was definitely not in the patch notes. Kind of surprised that that changed back to that as we didn't have that very long before but it seems like that's back not uh not that i'm a huge fan of the left and right mouse click i like the just click it and drag it over i think it's much easier when you're in a hurry to just whip it but that's always been my preference so it's kind of hard to change preferences there i liked it back oh you know when we were asked that before that i like the old uh, click and flip click and drag whatever you want to call it better than the different buttons it gets sometimes it's like left or right mouse click button depending on which side of the stand you're on it seems to cause a problem so i like the uh, the old method better but right now <clears throat> it does seem like that was an unannounced change <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> so there is that for those that haven't noticed or just noticed that something's weird. That's what it is. Alright. We do not necessarily need the crazy amount of speed right here, so we can turn this all down. We can probably coast this in, actually. Fish. There is the fishing hole down there by the river. For those that didn't see that video, there are definitely fish in the water down there. I have to sneak up on them as they do swim away. But, yeah. Now we need fishing rods and stuff. Alright. Now we can probably get back on this. Although I do think, now that I think about it, we are going to have that one car laying in the track, in the way. So we're going to have to clear that thing out of the way somehow as we approach. So, not exactly sure where the thing is. Coming up here with the track splits this. I know that. <clears throat> but I totally, yeah, well, whatever. I didn't totally forget it was there, but I haven't dealt with it yet. I'll say that. Got a feeling. Yeah. We're definitely going to run into it. That thing just sounds like a supercharged beast. 
<laughs> Great new logo sound, actually. It's really kind of cool that it's very different than the old ones. That's the part, I guess, I really like about it. Now the question is, what do I do with this car? Do I just stick it over there? You know what, maybe we'll just put it on the front. Yeah, we'll just put it on the front. And then we'll take it up to the train that it's supposed to be on or shove it in the yard. Definitely need to start building holding yards because we're getting a whole lot of locomotives on this save file. And they're everywhere. Alright, there she goes. Steaming up the light. Load full of cows. Moving day on the old railroad. Moo -moo. All right. Here we go. Hopefully we got all the trees and branches and what have you. Mysterious underbrush. No. <laughs> Rocks. Rocks and branches and twigs and ninja trees. Alright, here we go. Do get a nice little run along the lake here, so that's going to be kind of cool. Do like how that came out, I have to say. Keeps it nice and flat. Everything was very flat for this. So that's nice, especially with the cow run. <clears throat> Everything in here should flow nice and smooth. It's kind of a picturesque little run there. There we go. Have to say. Happy with the way that that's coming out. Probably drop it on the wrong side. Anyway, since the switches were totally probably wrong. No, maybe not. No, we're good to go, I think. Alright, if we can line this thing up, we should be good. It's just about spot on. That's hilarious. Alright, let's see if that works. I thought we need to open the door, but we're going to open the door. Alright, obviously we have zero cattle. Alright, let's see if we can get the load. Is that the load? Yep, that's the load. There we go. Sweet. Cattle pay pretty good, I think. Oh. Alright, that's in there. Not that money, obviously. Not a real big super need on this railroad or anything. <clears throat> At this point. Definitely got a little bit of extra spending cash. But nowadays, with the $20,000 locomotives and plows and whatnot that we have, the, uh, Money gets to be spent pretty fast. All right. Ooh, I want to cut that tree, but then it's right by the mushroom. It's definitely in the way when it comes to, like, vision for loading. Ooh, this is not exactly lined up. Here's the thing. I wonder if it works. Let's see. Can we drop the cows? Are they going to work? They're still working. That's fine. Close enough, then. Good deal. Cows out. Put the cows out of the barn. Alright. We still need other stuff down here anyway, so it isn't like we're going to be doing much with these cows. Except holding them down here. Instead of holding them up there. Yeah, that's kind of going to be a pain in the butt with that tree in the way. Tell you what. 
<clears throat> Mushroom or no, that tree might have to go. Alright. Not that we really need to open that there, but we will. Drop the cow right in the right in that chute. That's perfect. Nice. Alright, that's working. Definitely getting paid. Slightly disappointed that we don't have a milk run off the cow that they just turned into canned beef, to be honest. Would be nice to turn around and do the dairy thing. Ooh! Didn't get enough break. I think we might have slid by. Let's see. Nope. Oh, that's just about spot on. Perfect. We'll take it. Bam. Oh, look, the horns. They almost match the ones that are on the loco. Gee, I wonder where those came from. <laughs> Bummer. Yeah, that's why it's the cattle train. You know? There we go. All right, how many we got out of what we got? Whoa. I don't even know. 24 out of 50, so that's about a half a load. So you could do eight cars, I guess, would totally fill the thing up, but then I don't mind running two either. Wouldn't be bad. I think we need coal down here to go along with it. We're just going to run around the whole thing here. What the heck? Obviously not getting any canned meat on the dock. We still have still have this to go. So coal. More coal. Coal, coal, coal. Coal goes everywhere. We go through tons of coal nowadays. That is a thing. Multiple coal trains do not hurt. What is this interesting little thing on here? Just a big rock. That's kind of cool. These are the branches. They do catch your trains if you don't remove those and they're sticking in your track. So that's the thing. But there we go. I mean, now we are up and running, or just about up and running here at the cattle farm. Half the uh, yards are full. So that's cool. And we're definitely going to call that one a win. Say thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you get a chance, like, share, subscribe. Subscriptions are free, but they sure do help the channel. Y'all have a great day.